Hey everyone, this is Michael with Christopher Street Tours, and on today's episode of Queer History, we'll be talking about Sylvia Rivera, a prominent trans Latinx activist during the height of the gay liberation movement. Sylvia was born in 1951 in New York City from Puerto Rican and Venezuelan descent. Her first role in activism was joining the Gay Activist Alliance when she was only 18 years old, fighting for the rights of gay people, but also for drag queens. These advocacy efforts continued throughout Sylvia's life, including a presence at the Stonewall Uprising. Some historians and witnesses questioned Sylvia's presence at the uprising, but according to her, she was there. Shortly after Stonewall, in 1969, the Gay Liberation Front was formed, with Sylvia as a founding member. The Gay Liberation Front, or GLF, believed in sexual liberation for all people. The group also addressed other social inequalities, such as racism and sexism, but unfortunately, just a few years later, the group ended in 1973. Before this, in 1970, two members of the Drag Queen Caucus of the Gay Liberation Front moved on and formed STAR, or the Street Transvestite Action Revolutionaries. The two members were Sylvia Rivera and her good friend, also a trans activist, Marsha P. Johnson. The language of the organization's name is a bit outdated now, whereas today we would use the word transgender. STAR was one of the very first trans advocacy organizations. It was a radical collective that supported homeless LGBTQ youth. Through a fundraising dance with Gay Liberation Front, STAR was able to purchase STAR House, a four-bedroom East Village apartment located in New York City specifically for LGBTQ youth. Unfortunately, it was a run-down building with no heat or electricity, and it was only able to stay open until July of 1971. After the end of Star House, Star shifted its focus to achieving the rights of trans folks within the gay liberation movement. In 1972, Star stopped holding meetings and there was a decline in demonstrations. While there is no official end date for this organization, Sylvia Rivera sees the decline at the 1973 Christopher Street Liberation Day March. During that year's march, drag queens and gender nonconforming folks were asked to stay at the back of the parade and off the stage at the rally. At the rally, Sylvia Rivera storms the stage during a speech from Jean O'Leary, who is a member of the Lesbian Feminist Liberation, who believed that drag was misogynistic and insulting to women. On stage, Sylvia criticized gay liberation activists who also excluded trans folks, gender nonconforming people, and drag queens. The following clip shows parts of the events from the 1973 rally. I have been beaten. I have had my nose broken. I have been thrown in jail. I have lost my job. I have lost my apartment for gay liberation. And you all treat me this way? Think about that. I do not believe in a revolution, but you all do. I believe in the gay power. Although Star was short-lived, it's seen as a groundbreaking organization within the queer liberation movement and is often used as a model for other organizations. After the rally, Sylvia moved to upstate New York for a number of years. Unfortunately, in 2002, she died of liver cancer. Today, the legacy of Sylvia Rivera continues on. The Sylvia Rivera Law Project was founded in 2002, whose mission is to increase the political voice and visibility of low-income people and people of color who are intersex, gender nonconforming, or trans. The Sylvia Rivera Law Project continues Sylvia's work, by centralizing issues of systemic poverty and racism, prioritizing the struggles of queer and trans people. In 2005, the corner of Christopher and Hudson Street was renamed Sylvia Rivera Way in her honor, just two blocks away from the Stonewall Inn. And in May 2019, it was announced that a monument of Sylvia Rivera and Marsha P. Johnson would be installed in New York City's Greenwich Village. And with that, that concludes this episode of Queer History with Christopher Street Tours. Be sure to subscribe to our channel below and like us on Facebook and Instagram at Christopher Street Tours for more queer history. Until next time. Christopher Street Tours is an LGBTQ-owned organization. 
Our mission is to make LGBTQ history accessible and engaging, sharing stories and uplifting voices from those who paved the way before us. For more information and resources, please visit ChristopherStreetTours.com.